So Target continued to show their true colors when it was found out that they were going to ban Mark Levin's new book from being in their stores. But all of a sudden now they're having a change of heart. But what was the initial reaction? What did they say about the title of Levin's book? We're going to dive in and discuss. Stick with me, guys. Welcome, everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, well, that's all I can do. Hey guys, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. It really helps us out in the algorithms, getting these videos out there to more people. Hit that bell as well. Uh, I mean, I mean, you gotta subscribe and why do I wear the glasses? Because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. Okay, I also wanna tell you guys really quick too, how you can help make a generous donation to my ministry. One thing you could do, go to my Patreon, sign up for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news. Now, when you do, you're gonna get exclusive early access to all these videos before they even hit the YouTube channel. But not just that, you're gonna get alerted for all of my content. You don't get that with the YT notifications. They rarely send my alerts out. You can also comment censorship free on all the videos and send me direct messages. So check it out. Patreon.com slash not by site news. Big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So when the news came out here the other day that Target said, you know what? No, we're not selling Mark Levin's new book. Uh, it's just too controversial. Uh, too controversial. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. But the title of Mark's new book. And this is such an appropriate title. I could not agree with the title more. The Democrat Party Hates America. I mean, just, just take a look at that statement right there and look at what we've seen in this country for the past several years. It's exactly right. 100% right. It's going to be a great read when it comes out. But Target said that, nope, it's just too controversial. In fact, it's going to offend some people and hurt the Democrat Party's feelings. Now, what they told Mark Levin here is that he got his pub. They told they reached out Target, that is, reached out to his publishers and told them that they had some concerns because the book title had the word hate in it. And that word hate might be offensive to some of their shoppers. Oh, that meaning their, their Democrat leftist shoppers, which however many of them are, you know, still left after the whole, uh, debacle that happened in June, which I'll talk about here in a second as well. Uh, so they said, that's it. Nope, we're not carrying your book. Target has carried all the other Mark Levin books before in the past, but they weren't going to be carrying this one. If you think for one second, that this was about the title being too controversial, you are out of your mind. It had nothing to do with that. What this had to do with is the fact that Target is firmly on the side of the Democrat party. In a title like this, a book like this, <laughs> For them to sell it in their stores, I mean, would just be a complete rebuke of their loyalty to this so-called party. But then things change. All of a sudden, when the backlash started pouring in from fans of Mark Levin and others that aren't even necessarily big fans of him, but look, agree that, you know, books should be put out there. You shouldn't be censoring any of them. Um, target reverse course. I'm going to tell you what they said and also what Mark Levin said here in just a second. But guys, really quick. Let me mention my ministry to you again, how you can help make a generous donation. You know, I mentioned the Patreon here at the top, how you guys can get early access to all the videos and get the alerts for everything that I put out. You don't get that with YT. Go to patreon.com slash news. Just make a monthly contribution of as little as $5 a month and bam, you have access to everything. But not just that, you can also click the super thanks button down below on this video here. It's really easy to do. It's how you can kind of just throw me a tip with a one-time donation and you can do it right here from the video page. Again, by just simply clicking that super thanks button and you can help donate to the ministry that way. Again, it's all a great blessing when you guys help out. Um, it is much appreciated. So God bless all of you uh, who are able to help out with that. So what Mark Levin said here, initially he put out a tweet when Target says they weren't gonna be carrying his book. And he says, this is absolutely ridiculous. He says, but I do wanna thank Walmart. I wanna thank Books A Million, Barnes and Noble, you know, and Amazon, all of them, because they are agreeing to go ahead and sell my book, but not Target. Then things change. Target releasing a statement the very next day on Thursday, July 6th, saying that, well, after consulting with our team, we realized that we made a mistake. And well, some of our, our team members had 
reviewed the book title and we were concerned of the fact that it had the word hate in it. And that initially threw up a red flag for us to say, maybe we shouldn't be carrying this book. But after further review, we've determined that we will be carrying Mark's new book, The Democrat Party Hates America, which is now available, Target says, for pre-order. And we will stock the book in our stores when it's released on September 19th. Now, of course, the only reason they're doing this is because of the backlash and because they already alienated so many of their customers when they bought all the pride stuff out for the kids in June, the satanic wear and everything else like that. So you're telling me that the team of Target executives sat down and they were concerned that Mark's new book would offend people, the Democrats, because it had the word hate in it, but yet selling clothing geared towards toddlers that have things like trans lives matter on them and other satanic rainbow gear was appropriate that that was not offensive <laughs> target showing exactly who they truly are they are a pathetic company and you know if they haven't lost enough money already uh they're going to continue to lose more even the fact that they've reversed course on this look it doesn't matter we know who they really are what they are all about. If you want to get Mark's new book, I would say get it from any other outlet other than Target because uh, they've shown to be just completely carrying water for the Democrat Party. And of course they didn't want this book title in their stores. I think it's a great title. Uh, maybe I can check it out on audio uh, when it comes up because I think it'll be really, really good. Uh, so what do you guys think? Again, more backlash on Target. They just they just keep digging that hole for themselves, right? This is what these companies do. It, it, it's just the woke stuff. They don't care. They'll go out of business. They will literally take themselves out of business to, you know, fly some sort of a flag for the woke culture and all this. It's just, it's sick. It's just truly sick who these people are. And you know what? If they don't turn their lives around and repent, they're going to be eternally separated from God. That decision is going to be up to them. I'll put more information on this down below in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. Now, for anybody watching me, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. Now, the good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news, where you will get early access to all of these videos before they hit the YT channel. You get all the alerts, you can comment, censorship free, send me direct messages, or you can click that super thanks button down below on this video here where you can make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.